Do you know? Huh? 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 Who did accomplish dwelling stuff? Huh? Huh? Who did accomplish? Full of it? I accomplished it. I accomplished it and I achieved it. I did it. I am. Congratulations for me. Ovations. Yeah, thanks so much chef for this crap stuff. Yes, ovations. What I want to show right now? What do I want to show? right now for you is here let's open it it's gold 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 golden 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 all by the way and all is gold all turned to gold yes and now about dwelling stuff what I what did I accomplish I accomplished my accomplished my English course with the Olinga. What does mean? What it means? It means that I can speak English like a freedomly, but not fully. And my grammar really grows up. Really. It was really like a poof, biggest hook or maybe <laughs> something like a coolest thing with uh, girl. Yes, I did it. And my vocabulary right now... No. My grammar. Grammars about tenses, sentences, and other things like uh, verbs more interesting than in the in the past. More powerful. But need to practice. What did I learn that need to practice? Need to practice your sentences. With only Duolingo stuff, you will not be fluent. Yes, it's true. Yes, you can, you can improve your grammar in your mindset. But after, need to use it more and more. And be so, how to say it, conscious, be conscious. Be conscious for the process. Analyze what can you what can you use right now for the next time. Be unconscious for using it and using like a oh I know this how to say it and uh, don't think and uh, will will not think about what to use. Uh huh. Understand me. And uh, it is it was for maybe. 15 days, maybe less. Where is my video about... Uh, one moment, I want to open. Where is my video about 10 hours of Duolingo? It was my first day of practicing. Need to Google 10 hours learning Duolingo. I did in a row 10 hours. It was streamed one week ago. Okay, and let's uh, watch it. It was uh, January 28. After 28 January... How many? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. 13 days for accomplishing full dwelling stuff. Can it do cooler? Can it do <laughs> faster? Yes, you can. Because uh, I was practicing like a uh, first day was practice with uh, really half, half of uh, it. After that, I will. I was practicing like a ah uh, today. Okay, only one, and that's all. And uh, or, or maybe only ten ten points. And I started to learn more powerfully. Maybe four days ago, four or three, is it was like a yeah need to practice, practice, practice. Okay, you can accomplish full gold dwelling for. Uh, five to from five to seven days yes but question for what for for what kind of purposes do you know okay what do i know about dwelling how to practice is more proficiency and uh, more effectively more effectively need to practice uh, with using 
natural practice. What it means? It means that if you have some practice uh, like a speaking, a writing, maybe creating videos is uh, to practice. And uh, need to practice with this. If this will not be, you will forget about it. You will not only... You will not understand it. Need to be maximum awarenesses for uh, for these moments. Because if you will be maximum awareness and will understand, aha, this message for this, need to create your own example. Examples of your own own sentences. It is one of the best tips what can I, can I, how to say it, offer you. What can I, no, what can I serve to you, maybe, mm, предложить. Uh, what can I suggest for you? Yes, practice. Practice with uh, talking, with storytelling, create your own stories and listen to... Now, by the way, now my understanding, comprehension of the listening is improved. Because Duolingo good stuff for learning grammar and when you know grammar you can jump to the next level, to the next level of the comprehension of the listening, of the listening podcasts. By the way, I am listening podcasts uh, every day by my iPhone and also I read, I am reading books daily. And uh, it is really good stuff for improve to yourself. And uh, when I started learn my Duolingo stuff, I was in the level when I knew, when I knew only, had known, had known only, how many, seven, 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 uh, sent, uh, seven tenses. Now I know all sentence, how to use it, and uh, I can <laughs> prove for, for you in the next video. And thanks so much. But practicing on the Duolingo, it's not enough for being fluent. For being really person who will go to the other country, country and will speak, it will be enough. Really. All vocabulary... All vocabulary, my opinion, my opinion, my opinion, I'm Russian. It will be enough. Understand? Okay, thanks so much for watching. See you next time. Bye bye. Keep practicing. I'm sure, I'm sure that you can accomplish it for five year, uh, years, for five days. After improve your vocabulary, read more, listen more, watch more, and uh, speak more. Speaking is uh, one of the best. Communication. For what are you learning in, in, in English? For communication. Communication is two sides. Listening, reading. Oh, no. Listening and uh, speaking. You are speaking. Practice speaking. And listen. <laughs> you can listen yourself. And don't forget about feedback. Duolingo good stuff for, for having feedback. Because you have one more opponent, is your computer, who knows more about grammar in this situation, in this uh, statement. And uh, you will learn with feedback. Thanks so much for watching. See you next time. Bye-bye. And keep practicing. Keep learning. Be great. Jup-jup. Hook with right hand. Bye-bye.